The Rise, Fall, and Redemption of Mike Tyson. What if I told you that one man ruled the world of boxing with unmatched fury, only to lose everything, and then claw his way back to redemption? This is the untold story of Mike Tyson, the baddest man on the planet. Brooklyn, 1966. A young boy named Mike was born into chaos, poverty, violence, and the streets. By age 13, Tyson had been arrested 38 times. His future seemed destined for prison or an early grave. But fate had something else in store. Because hidden behind his troubled youth was a raw, untapped power. One that would soon shake the world of boxing to its core. At just 20 years old, Tyson became the youngest heavyweight champion in history. His fists were like wrecking balls. 26 knockouts in his first 28 fights. But it wasn't just power. It was fear. Tyson wasn't just defeating opponents. He was destroying them. The world had never seen anything like it. The media called him Iron Mike. Fans called him invincible. But inside, Tyson was battling demons. His life outside the ring was spiraling out of control. Wild parties, reckless spending, and the loss of his mentor, Customato. The cracks in the armor were beginning to show. Then came 1990, in one of the biggest upsets in boxing history. Tyson was knocked out by Buster Douglas. The world stood still. The Invincible had been defeated. But the fall didn't stop there. Accusations, trials, prison. Tyson went from heavyweight king to convict. Guilty, Your Honor. The world watched as the man who once had it all lost everything. But this isn't just a story of defeat. This is a story of redemption. Tyson fought his way back to the ring, determined to reclaim his legacy. But this time, it wasn't just about victory, it was about transformation. The world saw a different Tyson, one who embraced his past, learned from his mistakes, and most importantly, found peace within himself. Today, Mike Tyson is more than a boxer. He's a father, an entrepreneur, and an inspiration to millions. His story isn't about how hard he could hit, it's about how many times he got back up. So, what can we learn from the man who went from the top of the world to rock bottom? and then climbed back up. It's simple. No matter how far you fall, it's never too late for a comeback. Because the real fight is against yourself.